Barbecue fam, welcome back. We're doing a Texas style brisket today on the Char Griller Gravity 980. We're doing this very simple salt and pepper. Oh, hell yeah! So it's New Year's Eve, and this is going to be an overnight cook. We're going to try to do this very easy uh, we're gonna trim it up we're gonna hit it with salt and pepper that's it let it sit for a couple hours and then you're gonna get it on your grill whatever grill you're using indirect for about 225 degrees that's the desired temp because you're going overnight you want to go real low you don't want to have any chances of anything going wrong here Now I said going overnight and you don't want to have any chances of anything going wrong. Now if you want to stay awake all night, then you're, you're good to go. Me, I like sleep. So, and I haven't been feeling the greatest, so as you can tell by my voice, it is what it is. It ain't going to stop me from cooking this brisket, let me tell you. So we're going to be using the Char Gorilla Gravity 980 for purposes because it's easy. So you get this thing loaded up with your charcoal choice. In the middle of that, throw in some hickory um, chips. At the bottom, hickory chunks. And you're gonna let this roll at 225 once you put that brisket on and uh, let it go until you hit about 165 and then you're gonna wrap it in butcher paper or foil, do whatever you wanna do. I'm using butcher paper and then uh, we're gonna try to get up to about 203. Oh, hell yeah. Once you get to the point of when you want to wrap it, really determines the color that you're looking for or the bark has set perfectly. Now, you can go by temp as well. And being an overnighter, this thing went off at like five or six in the morning, five, I think it was 5 a.m. So it was only in about five hours, which is unusual, but the, the grill, I couldn't keep it below 250. And then, so I came out, I pulled it, but Man, I, w I was going to leave it in for another hour, but I wasn't going to go back to sleep, get back up and do it. So I wrapped it. Butcher paper, a little bit of water down, wrapped it up, popped it back in, and that thing was cooking like quick. So at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., I checked on it, and by 9 a.m., the coals were almost out. So I had to come refill, and then uh, by that time, because we were at 180-ish on the brisket. So I get that refilled, temp was coming down on the brisket, and then before you know it, once the grill started to come back up, the brisket went down, never moved the meat stick at all, and it went down to like 165. I was like, well, I could have had an additional five hours to develop better bark. But we'll see when I pull this out of the cooler what it looks like. I think it's gonna be amazing. It smells just boom. And then when you're done, once you hit your 203 temp, like I said, we had some issues with the meat stick. I should have used another probe, but then, you know, I use an Insta-Read, go from there. <clears throat> and uh, we got to 203, pulled it, let it sit on the board for at least 20 minutes or so. You want to bring that temperature down, and then you want to put it in your cooler, one of these thick, insulated coolers, bootleg Yeti right there, and uh, made by Treelight. And then put a couple towels in there as well, just to keep that heat in. And uh, yeah, you want to get that thing down to as long as you can leave it in there. And then you pull it out, get it down to about 140 degrees, slice into it. And oh, hell yeah, that's coming up. Badass brisket just takes time. That's all you need. A little bit of time and uh, cook low and slow. Have a cooler ready and uh, some salt and pepper.
nice flat cut. I meant fat, flat cut because that was pretty thick and it still bends no problem. Oh, come on. <laughs> try a bite of this flat oh hell yeah I said give me a hell yeah I mean, oh my fat cap up during this whole cook never had to spritz once because of that oh my Ooh, shade dripping. I mean, that is, oh. <laughs> You're phenomenal. Oh, hell yeah. I mean. Hands down. Oh my. That's the best day of brisket I've ever made. No gimmicks, no tricks. Just time. I know a band that made a song about that. Let's check that out. Oh hell yeah. Best damn brisket ever made. I mean I mean that's the point obviously, but man, even the flat. Hmm. That was awesome. Seriously. Kosher salt, 16 mesh black pepper. Put it on there after your trim and uh, let it set in for about two hours, minimum. Then put it on your smoker, whatever smoker you're using with some hickory chunks and chips, whatever you got. I used wood lump as well and we did 12 hours. I could not keep this thing under 275. So we floated about 275. So it sped up the cook but it was about a 12 hour cook on this 15 hour brisket. Came out amazing. Wrapped it in a bunch of paper with just a little spritz of water in there. That's it. And fat cap up, you don't need to spritz the whole cook. So that was key. And then put it in a cooler for four hours. Four hours. And when you pull it out of your smoker, let it set out for at least 20 minutes or so. Bring that temp down a little bit so it don't overcook because we hit 203. And then we put it in that um, heavy duty, double insulated uh, cooler and four hours, pulled it out, let it set for about another 15 minutes, sliced into it. Oh, hell yeah. This was amazing. Go do it. Simple, easy, salt, pepper. That's it and time. Go enjoy yourself a nice brisket. And for the price of brisket right now, why not? You get a huge hunk of meat for a fraction of the cost of like ribeyes. Go do that. Oh, hell yeah. I will catch you guys in the next cook. I said give me a hell yeah.